She was a soap opera star who's been living a medical nightmare, and she says it's all due to a common medication she was given for a condition that many older women confront. Now she's been left horribly disfigured. She's the beautiful actress best remembered for 12 seasons and 14,000 episodes on the daytime soap General Hospital. I love you. But this is Sharon Wyatt today. Stitches stretch from ear to ear. She just had half of her jawbone removed. A drainage tube sticks out of her neck. It's like a nightmare. It's like a nightmare. The 58-year-old actress says it began when a bone density test revealed she had osteoporosis. Her doctor prescribed a popular bone density drug safely taken for the treatment of postmenopausal women. I did everything right. But following a routine root canal procedure, Sharon's gums became infected and wouldn't heal. Sharon had developed osteonecrosis, or dead bone disease. This animation shows how her dead jawbone was cut out and removed. Then a titanium plate was screwed in where the jawbone used to be. There are no overt symptoms. Miami facial surgeon Dr. Robert Marks, a leading expert in dead bone disease, says the jaw is a prime target. This shaded part is dead bone. Dr. Marks says taking a bone density drug for osteoporosis can improve bone density, but taking it longer than five years can, on rare occasions, make bone brittle. Like a chalk. You know, chalk is very dense but it's very breakable because it's brittle. Dr. Mark showed us a titanium plate like the one used to replace Sharon's dead jawbone. Excruciating pain, excruciating pain. The drug maker points out that millions of women have taken the drug safely and that dead jawbone disease may be the result of dental procedures, poor oral hygiene or infection. But Sharon hired attorney Tim O'Brien and filed a lawsuit. Her life has been ruined. Meanwhile, Sharon Wyatt, who appeared in TV's most popular afternoon soap, is trying to put a brave face on her personal medical drama. Nothing I could have done. It happened. And it just happened to happen to me. I'm the one who got struck by lightning. In a few months, Sharon is planning on having bone taken from her hip and surgically attached to the remaining part of her jaw. She'll then have teeth implants to replace the missing teeth.